today we will see about linearization of dynamical systems consider a simple r r load this can be a bulb when a voltage v is applied it draws some current and the bulb glows so output i is v by r or i of t is v by r v, v of t by r suppose if we apply a step input if our input is v in then depending upon the value of resistance our current will be v in by r so if we apply different values of v v in we will get different values of i so if you plot them they fall in a straight line so this system is a linear system but a static system because it doesn't have any dynamics now consider a series rl circuit this is a dynamic system because the there is differential terms in this equation v is equal to l di by dt plus ir so the expression for current is given by i of t is equal to v of t by r into 1 minus e power minus r by l into t so steady state if we plot the response of uh, current with respect to time for a particular value of step input voltage v1 at steady state the current will settle down to a particular value for some other value of step input the current will settle down to another value at steady state so at steady state if you draw the relationship between voltage and current it will be a linear relationship that is a straight line passing through rn so what is more important to note here is there are three variables that is one is input variable one is output variable and the third one is for dynamical systems time and the input and output variable are functions of time so when commenting on linearity of dynamical system one should see the input output relationship at steady state not the curve with respect to time so a system is said to be linear if it satisfies the principle of superposition and homogeneity this is a linear differential equation as differentiation is a linear operator so consider the same equation v1 is equal to l di1 by for one of the inputs let the current be i1 and for some other input let the current be i2 at steady state this dynamics part goes to zero so at steady state v1 is equal to i1 r v2 is equal to i2 r so the main point is we should see the linearity with respect to input and output at steady state or at the equilibrium point not with respect to time